I bet you didn't know about Nanny Helen Burroughs. Not only is she a DC native, but there's also a major thoroughfare through Northeast DC named after her. You're not familiar with it? Maybe you should get east of the river more. So, who is this lady, and why the name of street after her? Well, she's near and dear to my heart because we share the same birthday, May 2nd. Don't forget to buy me presents. And because she briefly lived in my hometown, Louisville, Kentucky. But she matters to us all for a number of reasons. First, she gained national recognition for her speech in 1900 entitled, How Sisters Are Hindered from Helping, at the National Baptist Convention. This is where she explained all the reasons that women were excluded from the good work that the Baptist Church did. She also founded the National Training School for Women and Girls in Washington, D.C. in 1909. And, as far as suffrage goes, in 1896, Burroughs helped establish the Nas National Association of Colored Women. Outside of fighting for equal rights for women and blacks be and being a major player in the women's suffrage movement, she also established the National Training School for Women. She grew up in a time when African American women were basically limited to two employment options, domestic service or teaching. The work domestic servants performed maintaining homes was considered unskilled labor and therefore paid low wages. As a result, many African American domestic servants and their families lived in poverty. Burroughs believed domestic work should be professionalized and unionized. Does this sound familiar, AU? Seems a little reminiscent of some uni unionizing attempts of workers on campus. Burroughs wanted to become a domestic science teacher so that she could offer these women professional training that might help them earn a higher salary and afford better living conditions. Burroughs offered courses in domestic science and secretarial skills, but also in unconventional occupations, such as shoe repair, barbering, and gardening. Burroughs created a creed of racial self-help through her program of the three B's, the Bible, the bath, and the broom. The Bible, bath, and broom stood for a clean life, a clean body, and a clean house. In 1931, Herbert Hoover administration appointed her as the committee chairwoman concerning Negro housing for his White House conference on home building and home ownership. This was in the early years of the Great Depression. This committee laid the foundation for the National Housing Act of 1934 and the Housing Act of 1937, which started public housing assistance in this country during the Depression. So thanks to Nanny Helen Burroughs, we all have better housing. Now you know.